I talk about any food changes, uh, it's very easily labeled as quote unquote diet culture or toxic diet culture. I'm curious to get your thoughts on this. Someone from the inside that has conversations, you know, we're not necessarily being prescriptive for everybody, but talking about conversations and research around certain nutrition interventions. What's your take on it? So I, I think, you know, generally there are a couple of thoughts. One is, you know, we believe in eating whole foods. Mm -hmm. uh, we're eating too many calories from ultra processed food. It's almost 60, almost 60% 60 of calories from adult diet or from ultra processed foods. And I think it's 67% among kids, like full stop. Like we're, we're eating too, too many processed foods. And there was a study in France for every 10% increase in process, ultra processed food con consumption, I think led to a 14% increase in mortality. So like processed foods, full stop. Um, with regards to diet and tribalism and philosophy, you know, we like to point to the example of two, two of our friends, Mark Sisson and Rich Roll. So on one hand, you've got Mark Sisson, he's a fellow Miami resident, <laughs> who's, we saw him the other week, he's 69, he looks amazing, for you guys not familiar, just go to Mark's Instagram, <clears throat> you know, he looks amazing, he yeah. feels amazing, you talk to Mark, it's the best I've ever felt, um, he exercises a lot. His diet, he's pretty close to being carnivore. Then on the other hand, we've got our other friend, Rich Roll, who's 56, looks amazing, feels amazing, also works out a lot. He's 100% vegan. These two people have nothing in common with regards to their diet, with the exception of, I think, both really avoid processed foods. And so who, who's anyone to say, hey, hey, what Rich is doing is right or wrong and the same same for Mark. And I think, you know, as long as their their lipid panels aren't out of control and, you know, and have serious cardiovascular risk, I think it speaks to the idea of you got to figure out what works for you. And there are some general best practices and, and it starts with, you know, whole food. <laughs>